Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be talking about a new series I just dropped on Netflix on Friday. And I want to make sure I get the name correct. The woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. So again, this is a brand new series I just dropped on Netflix. Uh, season one did give us eight episodes. They're each about 30 minutes, give or take a minute or five. This does start Kristen Bell, which I absolutely love her. Now this is a mystery, comedy, dark comedy type of series. Like this is a show that like I know my sister wouldn't like. Annette don't even watch it because I know you're not gonna like it. She just doesn't have the sense of humor for it. She's very dull like that. She never laughs at anything. She's so annoying. Off the bat, if you don't have the sense of humor, if you especially don't like dark comedy because well, there's stuff here that can get pretty darn dark involving the daughter. I won't tell you exactly where the darkness goes because it's not a spoiler review, but just know it's dark. Basically, it is like a parody, satire type of movie. Of course, it's making fun of The Woman in the Window, which is a Netflix show. Well, not show, a movie that came out last year, which I know a lot of people did not like. Personally, I didn't have a problem with it. I quite enjoyed it. I chuckled in quite a few parts. There's an ongoing mailbox situation, which I did tweet about. And like, just side note, three of the stars from the show did like it and they responded to my tweet. It was so exciting. But let me go ahead and read the synopsis. Watching the world go by from her living room window, heartbroken Anna sets her sights on a handsome new neighbor until she witnesses a gruesome murder. Dun, dun, dun. It's such a super, super quick binge. Again, eight episodes. They're about 30 minutes long. If you have a sense of humor for it, I totally recommend it. It had just the perfect amount of ridiculousness to it with still a nice little suspenseful kind of whodunit. Even though I did suspect the killer right off the bat, just from the woman in the window, there were moments when I'm like, maybe you're not the killer. I don't know. You're not very suspecty enough i don't know um i did like the cast again we have kristen bell which i absolutely adore her and she's like perfect for this type of you know like comedy darkness type of deal when she threw away the wine though it kind of broke my heart spoiler alert there is um wine that gets spilled in here the show just kind of has everything in there we have again the single father across the street that moves in we have the creepy ass handyman we have the nosy ass neighbor who you know we also secretly hate a fear of rain yes a fear of rain we have a bunch of casserole dishes being destroyed we have a murder happen the woman in the window across the street from the lady across, what, what is it called again? The woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. I think if you're up for, for it, if you have the sense of humor for it, I definitely think this is a bingeable show. But again, you have to have that sense of humor. This is not like just a dramatic mystery show. Do not go in there expecting this dramatic greatness stuff, seriousness. They deliver things here in a serious tone, but there's funny behind it, okay? So don't go in there like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. It is meant to be ridiculous, okay? Better white? Oh, no, thank you. I don't drink wine anymore. I'll have a vodka. Especially when it comes to the daughter. Like, I can't believe people are laughing because of that. I mean, that whole daughter situation, again, dark humor. It's wrong. But when you find out what happens, you're just like, wait a minute, what? And then next thing you know, you start laughing because it's just so, it's just so ridiculous, you guys. So if you've seen this series with the long ass title, let me know down below, what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Are you planning on checking it out? Or are you gonna skip on it? Of course, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. That is it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.